The Ray Price tribute and final beauty is album release reception and Crossroads Live television final uh, television interview with Janie Price. We want to especially thank the uh, Jimmy uh, Gomes, Jana, Tim, Shannon, Mo Kate, and the entire staff of the South Fork Ranch for their wonderful hospitality, Texas size hospitality, mm -hmm. and um, we appreciate their um, welcoming us here. Now, <laughs> now it is my pleasure to present our MC for today, uh, the star of the stage, television and the big screen, actor Geech Cook. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Geech. Yeah, I'm real famous, just nobody knows it. <laughs> and I really am very thankful to be here with you today at the beautiful South Park Ranch to, uh, for today's special tribute to Ray Price and his final album, Beauty Is, uh, release re reception. And I'd like to thank Gene and Betty Wolf for Charity Productions for arranging this very special Ray Price event. We have a big program lined up for you today, and we have a brief 10-minute intermission coming up, so... I can look forward to that too. At this time, if you've not already done so, please silence your cell phones. And we'd like to announce that all photos are okay. <laughs> all right. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, would we please stand and give big Texas size welcome to Miss Janie Price. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Janie Price. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to welcome Mayor of Parker, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome Mayor Mar Z. Marshall. Thank you, thank you. Wow, this is really a special event. I get the pleasure of doing lots of events here at South Fork, so this is really a special event. I thank you for that. On behalf of myself, the whole, uh, my, our city council, all the 4,000 plus residents of Parker, we want to welcome you to our city and welcome you to this event. You are not in Dallas, by the way. You're not under the, the, the grand city of Parker. We're very, very, very proud of that. Uh, Ray Price was a Texas legend, and I know that we are just so honored and so, I feel like it's a real privilege for you to have this special event here in our city. Uh, we're just, again, we're just so honored to have that. So uh, I was told my remarks to be brief. I'd like to again express my thanks to uh, Betty and Gene Wolf. Uh, I hope that's not our uh, EMS going on uh, here. Yeah. Amber Alert. Amber Alert. There you go. Okay. All right. Hopefully it's not in our city, but we'll, we'll pray for whoever has to work. Um, anyway, uh, I want to thank uh, uh, Gene and Betty Wolf. Uh, we sure appreciate your, uh, your, your, your putting this event on and having this here in our city as well. So again, just on behalf of, of our little city here in Parker, by the way, we are, as I said, 4,000 amongst this massive humanity around us, but we really are just an open space country type living and what you see here at South Fork is uh, truly representative of our community and what we're all about. So again, thank you for having me and uh, let's have just a great event. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right, what is that buzzer? We got it covered up there. Is it? Is it over? But we got something big coming up now. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are very fortunate to have with us today Grammy Award winning winner Bobby Flores. All right, with the Yellow Rose Band. He brings the best of country, traditional country and western swing music. He has toured, recorded, and performed on stage with Ray Price for five years as his first fiddle and violin. He's also shared the stage with Willie Nelson, Johnny Bush, and many other great artists. He came into Dallas today early so he could be with us, pay tribute to his celebrate the life and memory of this great, his good friend and great country music legend, Ray Price. After his performance, he has to go to Granger, Texas, the famous Granger, Texas, and they're playing over there tonight. So, uh, Bobby, we really appreciate y'all coming in early and doing this and doing these for us. And uh, he'll be accompanied by Ray Can Canute. Where's Ray? Ray's here with him. Ron. Ron. Oh, Ron Canute. Well, Ray's not even here, is he? Okay, Ron Canute. I apologize. And Wayman McBride on rhythm guitar. Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome Mr. Bobby Flores.
uh, Bob Hill's song that we used to, uh, we had the pleasure of performing with Ray and uh, got to write the uh, arrangement on this one. It's an old thing called Faded Love. Oh. Ron Canoe. special song for me. Um, I think no one sang this song better than Ray uh, among so many other songs, but this is one of my favorite songs that Ray used to sing. And, uh, what an honor and a pleasure to get to perform this, to have the, had the chance to play with him on this, uh, on this song. So I'd like to play it for you right now. One called Danny Boy.
really great, Bobby. Really great. Ron Wayman, thank you very much for being here. It was just super. If any of y'all have ever looked for an excuse to go over to Granger tonight, it might be a good one there. They're going to be playing music. Really nice. Yikes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have some special guests with us here today. And at this time, I'd like to re briefly recognize them. And when I announce their names, please hold your applause until I've announced all of them, please. Dana and Daniel Bloom and Steve Popovich Jr. with Monte Records, Beauty Is, Record Labels. Can you all stand up just briefly? Good. Actor and author, Ken Mark Farmer and Arthur Bucks Steinke. We want to uh, congratulate them on their award-winning book, uh, the, the Legend of Aurora and Hellhole. And Ken brought some books, incidentally, if y'all want to get them autographed out there. He's here and be glad to do that for you. He can spell good. <laughs> uh, and Lynn Howard, Miss Ch taught me. What? Yeah, that's right. Lynn Howard, Miss United uh, America Royal, which is a beauty contest for ladies over 55. And Sylvia and Brett Neal with Ameri Ameripolitan Music Awards in Austin, Texas. Americana and real music at its best. Artist Cynthia Hampton, Ray Price oil painting for the Plato Love and War restaurant and music venue, Wall of Honor. Cle Cleo Hearn, is he here? Here we got it. All right, take a look at there. She did that herself. Still Cynthia, still wet. Still wet? Still wet. You got all the numbers colored in? Yeah. It's real nice. Larry Scott, the syndicated radio, radio from Terrell. Uh, Doug Gallagher, Doe Gallagher from KAAM, The Legends Radio in Dallas. Uh, Candy Coburn, national touring and recording artist from Springfield, Missouri, who had soon to make her home in Austin, Texas. And uh, Tommy Ritter Smith, Texas Country Music Hall of Fame, Carthage, Texas, and she's also the cousin of Tex Ritter, and she started that museum over there. Thank all of you folks for being here today. We really appreciate it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to say a special thank you to Ronnie Johnson, Joe Rivera, David Erb, and Aaron Reynolds. Have they gone already? They helped set up all this stuff. They, they brought this 70-inch flat TV screen, DVD player, and CD player, which was very much appreciated. And let's see, each cook, that's me. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, Ray Price is considered a national treasure and one of the last pioneers of real country music. Under the care of his good friend, Dr. Red Duke, he was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer after his gallbladder was removed November 19, 2011, Memorial Hermann Hospital in Houston, Texas. And some 25 months later, on December 16, 2013, he passed away at his home on his ranch in Mount Pleasant, Texas. He was considered one of the longest living pancreatic cancer patients ever. This, the last year of his life, he continued on tour and to perform his show dates throughout the United States. Ray contacted, contacted his good friend and well-known Nashville recording, record producer, Fred Foster, and they went to work on Ray's final recording session with this final album, Beauty Is, which is released on April 15th of 2014. Because of Ray's illness, Fred Foster was very concerned about him being able to finish the album. However, being dedicated and professional entertainer that he was, the album was finished and is a masterpiece and keepsake for many country music fans. Throughout this reception, we'd like to play several songs from the album, and right now we'd like to play Beauty Lies in the Eye of the Beholder with Vince Gill. <laughs> Snowflakes when they fall A baby's cry Your hazel eyes The night train's lonely call Starry nights Lightning strikes Wild horses running free The world is filled 
with loveliness for those who care to see. Mr. Tom Perryman, who is now playing classic country music at KKUS 104.1, the Ranch Radio in Tyler, Texas. He became a charter member of the Country Music Disc Jockey Association in 1953, was named WSM Mr. DJ USA in 1954, then joined WSM Radio in Nashville, Tennessee, and was the assistant manager to the Grand Ole Opry. He was a partner with country music to the great Jim Reeves and vice president of Jim Reeves Enterprises. He was inducted into the Country Music DJ Hall of Fame in 1988. He is awarded the Pioneer Broadcaster of the Year Award in 2013 from the Texas Association of Broadcasters. Let's give a big welcome Mr. Tom Perry. <laughs> Just exactly how I wrote it for Jerry. <laughs> hey, this is just a, this is my prop. Okay. So you'd okay. be surprised how much help you can get if you tote this thing around. <laughs> first, first of all, I want you to meet my first wife. Jerry, really stand up, man. <laughs> Everything that might have happened to me, she was with me. And she told me the other night, five or six of those years have been pretty good. <laughs> uh, also, we have somebody new that just joined the promotion. 
thanks to Steve, it's Tommy Smith from Tyler and his wife Anna. Tommy, stand up, buddy. He has going to be helping. He has a company of Southern and Country Gospel that he's going to join in the crew for helping promote Ray Price and his gospel music. Amen. Absolutely. Now, first, I'm not going to talk in just a few minutes because we have a special treat for y'all today that's going to be on after me. Uh, there's something about Ray Price that no other artist in my career, and I started, I've noticed that he did the forward in my little book of 60 years of keeping it country, which is now 67 years. Wow. He come up with a phrase, he was really a comedian. Not many people knew that. He was funny. The first line in his book says, Tom was kind of like me when we were kids. We soon dropped that cotton sack and went on to something bigger and better things. And I tell everybody, yeah, I went from picking cotton to picking records in 1947 and have been at it in country music radio ever since. But I want to tell you something about Ray Price. We've been friends and in business. I've booked more shows and worked with Ray since I've been back in Tyler, 01, about the best I could figure, eight or nine all the way from Lufkin, all the way up and over northeast Texas. Every one of them has been a success. But let me tell you about Ray. I knew all the artists. Brought most of them into East Texas from the Big D Jamboree and the Louisiana Hayride. But thanks to his longevity, Ray Price has done something no other artist has ever done. I started when it was Hillbilly, the twang day. When you stood on your toes and sang through your nose, because that's what it was. That's it. Hillbilly. That's what it was. Ernest Tubb was responsible for getting that changed to country. Doing pretty good, the 50s, in my opinion, was the golden years of country music. That's when all the changes took place. I went up there and auditioned for the all-night disc jockey job and got it in, in 56 in October. Went to Nashville to become a star, like lots of the others are still doing. But I soon found out that that was going to be spelled as T-A-R-V-E. <laughs> <laughs> Went flat broke up there, building those three babies. I was working all night. Later, Ralph took it with what he did. I introduced him, and I said, just think. And I stayed on that all-night show. Well, I could have been Ralph Emery. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, let me get back to Ray. Ray went through all of that. He had many, many hits. Rockabilly hit East Texas. That music came out of the South. These kids, the baby boomers kids, they had no music to call theirs. We grew up with the big band music. They had nothing to call theirs. They got to listen to that music with a beat out of these powerful stations. They loved it. And then Bill Haley, a hillbilly band came up with that one. But, but anyway, and then here they came. And I'll probably book, book some of them. But anyway, rockabilly, we called it rock and roll. That created wow. the Nashville sound. Chet Atkins and Owen Bradley got credit for that. Where they dropped the fiddle and steel so much. They started arrangements. They started voices. Good songs were different. That was the national sound. Many of them had big crossover hits. They all wanted to get something to go pop. I said, all right, just wait. When them folks in New York, L.A., and Hollywood found out there's money down here, they're going to come down here and take it away from you. That's exactly what happened. But anyway, I want to say that about Ray. He went through all of those. At the peak of Rockabilly, he had the biggest country hit that there was in 1956 crazy arms and, and there's something about Ray he, he studied he knew the music and he knew the changes of course he, he went to college he was in World War II Marine. he wanted to be a veterinary and of course he still had a bunch of horses and of course like me and some of the others in the business back then we all horsed around a little bit <laughs> a little bit but anyway but Ray Price there's something about him and like I say we did a whole lot of shows and he's had so many awards, so many that you, the Kennedy Center honored him in the National and the Texas Hall of Fame, and then everything else that he was awarded. He had every kind of award 
you could get keys to the city and everything. I had his birthday show in, in, uh, in Tyler, and the sheriff there was a friend of mine. I said, J.B. Smith, I want to do something special for Ray. Give him a plaque, but that ain't all. I want you to find some of those old, big, long jail keys. We're going to give him the keys to the jail in Smith County. And I already made arrangements with the media, the pictures and all. And he came out and presented it to him. And you know the first thing he said, Janie, you probably heard this. You know what he said right there in front of everybody? Oh, I'm glad to get this. Now I can visit my in-laws. <laughs> Anyway, I'm not going to say, but I could talk and talk and talk about Ray Price and many of the others. And Billy and I had a part in helping them, and they were nobodies. All of them, as far back as you can go in the 40s. I saw Ray Price was successful in during seven decades. I was with him when he introduced Danny Boy at the Disc Jockey Convention in 1967, in the lower level of the uh, of well, the big municipal auditorium. A lot of them old hillbilly disc jockeys, oh, we've lost Ray, he's gone, Paul. Anyway, and after for the good times, a whole new audience, whole new fan base. But anyway, I finally got popular in this business, and I finally received my PhD. Absolutely. Pioneer hillbilly disc jockey. <laughs> That came from the East Texas Car Strippers Institute College in East Texas. <laughs> no, really. I, I could talk so much. But I, I talked to the gentleman over there that brought this home about my friend from Carthage, Tommy Ritter Smith. We've been working together since we did the Jim Reeves Day in Carthage, his home, and Tex Ritter's home in 1995. And from that, in 98, the official Texas Country Music Hall of Fame in Carthage. We got the charter from the state of Texas. We are the official. And of course, Ray's in it and everybody that's anybody. So there's something amok that's coming about with Janie and, and Tommy Ritter Smith. And it's going to be during our big opening, the grand opening of our new enlarged down into the Hall of Fame and Museum. So without any further ado, he wanted me to introduce Tommy and let her say a few words about the, about what we're going to be doing at the official Texas Country Music Hall of Fame. Okay? All right. Let's go right now. on many occasions at, at concerts and things and he always wanted to tell Tex Ritter stories and uh, his love for Tex Ritter was very evident uh, to me and we always shared our love for Tex and our love for animals and our love for our little puppy dogs and uh, I have one named Belle Star and I, it's a little Yorkie and she is absolutely the boss of my life and I had to always show Ray new pictures of Belle Star. He always asked about her, <laughs> endeared me to him. <laughs> he knew how to do that. <laughs> but when he would tell Tex Ritter stories, my, my favorite part of visiting with Ray was always that twinkle in his eye that he would get when he would talk about Tex Ritter and, and um, he would tell me that, um, and, he, and I don't know if you know or not, but it, nobody in the world that knew Tex Ritter can tell a Tex Ritter tale without snorting. <laughs> and Ray had that down just perfectly. And one time he told me that he and Tex were on the Grand Ole Opry deer uh, duck hunt together and that uh, Tex was getting older and he was having trouble holding his shotgun. And so Ray purchased a rifle for him and gave it to him. And I'm sitting there thinking about this, and just a few years prior to that, John Ritter and his family had shipped everything that belonged to Tex Ritter to the, to the museum so that we could go through it and everything. And I, all of a sudden, it occurred to me, I have that rifle. 
and I told Ray, and, and uh, we were planning on him seeing it, but he never did, but, but that was really special to me. But the, the Board of Directors of the Texas Country Music Hall of Fame, and we've been honoring Texas country music legends since, as Tom said, 1998. The city of Carthage has been so wonderful to me, and I have been so blessed that they have allowed me. My first purpose, of course, was to honor Tex Ritter, because there wasn't a Tex Ritter Museum, and um, I wanted to do that in his hometown. And so I proceeded to do that, and they were perfectly willing for me to do that as long as I wanted to do the work. And I, and I, I did, and I had, had lots of volunteers that helped me. And then my other deal was to honor Jim Reeves, who was also born in our town and went to high school. They both went to high school in Carthage. So that was kind of how this core started. And then uh, I got a pretty sizable donation, and, and the man who made it on behalf of his family said, what, w what would you do? And I said, I would honor the other Texas country music legends that Tex Ritter loved, and we'll expand. And so we've expanded and expanded and expanded. And, and last Thursday, before I came here, they knocked the wall out between the old building and the new building, and I got to see for the first time what it was going to look like and how much more room we were going to have. And, Truthfully, I don't know how many more years I can do this because I had planned to retire and then they said, oh no, we're going to build on so you can keep going. And, but, but the good news is I have a 46-year-old daughter who has come to work with me and she loves it as much as I do. And for the first time, I feel like it's going to continue. Oh. And the board of directors wanted me to, to convey to Janie that we want to do something really, really special to honor Ray Price, and we're hoping that we can make that happen by the, the grand opening. We're going to have a very, very special Ray Price exhibit, and we want every one of you to come and see it. Uh, we're in Carthage, Texas on Highway 79. We have about 6,000 visitors every year, but, but I'm hoping that with the expansion and everything that's going on, we'll, we'll double that, and uh, we can keep going for a long, long time. I, I want my children's children's children to know Ray Price and Tex Ritter and all those people. And so I, I am so glad that the city of Carthage have allowed me to do that and they are, they are supporting me and the city and the chamber. Uh, it's really hard for a museum to make it nowadays, even the big ones in the big towns. And, and uh, we're, we're set. So I know when they knocked that hole in that wall, it made me realize that we were going to continue. So thank you so much. And we're having a special show in August. And if you want some information about that, we're going to induct the Oak Ridge Boys into the Hall of Fame because their lead singer, Dwayne Allen, is a, is a Texan. And they're going to be there and perform on August 9th. So uh, go on our website and, and check us out and get some tickets. I, it, I hope we still have some left when I get back. Well, let's see, where are we here? Uh, Each Cook, that's me again. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please give a special welcome to radio personality and music artist, Dallas Wayne, with Willis Roadhouse at Sears, XM Radio, ladies and gentlemen, Dallas Wayne. Thank you so much. It is an absolute honor to be here today. My phone rings and it says Ray Price on the phone. So I pick it. I always pick up the phone when Ray Price called. <laughs> pick up the phone and he said, Hey, Chief, I want you to listen to this. And he played me the song you just heard a little while ago, a rough mix of it. And I'm here to tell you, Ray Price going down I 35 in a van with a bunch of other musicians on a cell phone speaker sounds better than anything out on the radio today. <laughs> also wore this jacket today in Ray's honor. We were doing a show in Kansas City a few years back, it? and uh, it was about 120 degrees out there, and uh, as the humidity in Kansas City can get in August, if it was an August or September show, but it was just awfully hot. I came up to sound check, had a sleeveless t-shirt on, and Ray said, you gonna put a coat on? And I said, well, yes, got one in the back. He said, always 
dress for your audience because it shows them respect. And there ain't too damn many people that can get me to put a coat on. Ray Price and all that. Obviously, you've seen me in my sleeveless shirt. Right? <laughs> uh, had, had the honor of uh, running into Bill Anderson last night, and we, we talked a little bit about this event, and he so looks forward to the Country Family Reunion thing in September. I said to tell you hello. And uh, he also, we, we got to talk a little bit about uh, City Lights. And he said, I'm not so sure there'd have been a Bill Anderson if it hadn't been for Ray Price recording City Lights. And, uh, and I, you know, you're sitting there in front of Bill Anderson. I said, oh, no, Bill, your songs are just so fine that, you know, it, the, the, the talent would have shown through. He said, but I didn't want to take that chance. <laughs> I, I can't get that on there, so I just let that fall. <laughs> Obviously, we can't shuffle today because we don't have a full band up here. But one of the things that has always fascinated me about, about some of these shuffle songs, especially the ones that Ray did, they all sounded so happy. You know, there's the bouncy fiddle going on and the steel guitar just going on and here comes the, the drums and everything. Everything's just... But if you listen to the craft of the lyric and you take away the melody, these songs are works of art. And... Uh, Sometimes they weren't so happy. And got the thing about this song uh, this morning. You got nothing? There you go. They got these things called pickups. They're built inside the guitars. You got to put a thing in over here. But this song was the number one song in the country. Uh, Fifty eight years ago today. Wow. And, uh, I'm kind of a geek on that kind of stuff and it just <laughs> be dead for you. Some a little bit different version of it. Blue ain't the word for the way that it feels. There's a storm brewing in this heart of mine This ain't no crazy dream I know that it's real There's someone else's love now You're not mine Somebody new While my yearning heart keeps saying You're not mine My trouble mind No soon To another You'll be there That's why I'm lonely all the time. Please take these treasured dreams I have for me and you. Take all the love I thought was mine. Somebody 
my heaven While I yet in heart keep saying You're not mine things to do on my job is to pull out a uh, Ray Price song that because uh, Ray had a great way he had a great ear for a song he had a great ear for musicians and we do a lot of things every day on the radio concerning the Ray Price School of Country Music and the alumni and the graduates of that uh, university are people that have helped make this music what it is today people like Roger Miller Willie Nelson Johnny Bush, Daryl McCall, Johnny Paycheck. Did I mention Roger Miller? I'm not sure if I mentioned Roger Miller yet, but uh, if I didn't, I'll mention him again. Roger Miller, because he would like that. And he also had, he had a great uh, ear for songs, of uh, being able to pick out, like, like Tom was talking about, the, you know, all these great hits. Tom touched on something too, by the way, that, that I find uh, fascinating. Ray was an absolute master at four or five different styles of country music over the years, starting with the Drifting Cowboys sound uh, in the early 50s through shuffle stuff and then through the, the uh, Nashville sound and, and clear on up into today. As you've heard on the opening track of that record, uh, the Beauty Is album, uh, it is still prevalent in his voice today. It's absolutely magnificent. We'll do this song, Mel Tillis wrote it. Apparently I was thinner at some Knowing you will always 
always feel the same Now you keep hurting me, I know And I just can't let you go Cause my heart won't let my love for you change No, my heart won't let my love for you change Before I retired from the show business and got into the radio business, I spent a lot of time as a songwriter. And uh, songwriters, a lot of times, will write a song with someone in mind. And I, the moment I started this song, I thought of Ray Price. And uh, it's kind of the arrangement we were going for when we recorded this thing a couple of years back. Bobby Flores, if you're still here, Bobby, I know you had another gig today, but thank you for the beautiful, lush, stunning arrangement. Speaking of retirement, Ray told me one time, I, he said, you need to do more gigs, and I said, no, I'm retired. And he said, the only reason you retire is because your booking agent ain't worth a damn. <laughs> so if there's any booking agents out there, <laughs> There's not a dry eye in this I used to call a home There ain't nothing left But memories would stone When I think of you That's when I lose control There's not a dry in the house Since you Did you part to perfection? Always left me one more Standing in the spotlight's reflection You brought the house down when you walked out the door There's not a dry eye We used to call home There ain't nothing left But memories wouldn't stop And when I think of you That's when I lose control There's not a dry eye in the house Since you've gone Yes, and when I think of you That's when I lose it's not a dry in the past Since you've gone Thank you very much Hope you enjoy the rest of the incredible album, Beauty Is by Ray Price. Special thanks to all the folks over from Mar Maramonte for seeing the vision on this thing and nailing it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.
glad you're with us today. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to play another song from Ray's album, Beauty Is, titled No More Songs to Sing. When I've no more songs to sing, no music left in these old strings. There's no more words to rhyme Honey, there'll be time To fall in love again To hold the hand of my best friend While walking in the rain Whispering your name again so fast we make the moments last the way we always wanted to baby me and you we'll do everything when I've no more songs to sing to my every prayer to the laughter and the tears just think of all the years we'll share the world won't turn so fast we'll make the moments last the way we always wanted to baby me and you we'll do everything No more songs to sing Honey, we'll do everything When I've no more songs to sing Today, the man that wrote that song, Mr. Tony Ramey. Tony. to have cover your tune if you're a singer-songwriter than Ray Price, so uh, it's a real privilege to be able to come in here and uh, play a couple of songs, but thank you, Gene, for having me out and inviting me. I appreciate it. He asked me to do a couple of songs that are uh, apropos to the event, and uh, so from my repertoire, so uh, I'll do a couple of things I think pays homage to uh, Ray and artists of his ilk. Speed limits 
and I had a guitar string Just to be left in the dust By all my crazy dreams They call me a throwback Just a crooner who some people say Is fading fast Paying my respects to those who came before me Giving them the glory Every night I go back To the days when songs were pure and the truth was simple And strong enough to move me Like a shot of old whiskey Call me a throwback Well, I ain't doing nothing new Under that old sun Or claiming I've done anything That ain't no one else's doing Some folks say I should hang it up Well, maybe they're right Fool-hearted and hard-headed Hell, that's the story of my life I'm just a throwback A crooner who some people say is fading fast Paying my respects to those who came before me Giving raise blood Say 
smiles, the joy and the pain. Love every mile through the sunshine and rain. So, till we meet again, good luck, God bless, and we'll see you at the crossroads. Let's go, Dean.